Hey son, so today I have a rather special gun. It's a limited edition AGOS Short 8. That stands for Air Guns of Sweden Short 8. Now it's number 14 out of 200. I doubt you'll be able to see that, but anywho. Sadly not 13 either. Um, so it's called a Short 8 because it's just under 86 centimeters long and has an 8-shot magazine. Now it's made by a company I believe called CNC Process in Herve, Sweden. And Kenneth Soda was involved, and apparently he was involved in Webley some 15 plus years ago. Now, all the parts are made in Sweden, except for, I believe, the barrel, which is an Evanex barrel. It's in 0.22, and this is a beautiful walnut stock. I, I can't explain how amazing it is. So, when I first bought this gun, it's quite expensive, and it arrived just in a recycled box with some newspapers. And I was incredibly let down, because, you know, you pay a lot of money, you want the fancy bits. But picking this up, this is one of the most comfortable guns I've ever held in my entire life. Now, it's got the, the shaping on both sides. It only weighs about 2.7 kilograms. The balance is absolutely divine. The shortness of it is just, I don't know, it's just a delight to handle. So, to load this, you actually um, flip it from safe to fire by just rotating that back. Then you lift the bolt handle and slide back very easily. And now you can eject the magazine by pulling that forwards, and the magazine comes out. Now you can put your pellets in there, eight shots, the o-ring holds them in. You can just slide that back into place, and then put that back forwards. Click, and now you, this is actually cocking the gun when you push forwards and you pick it back. So now it's locked and loaded, ready to fire. The trigger is absolutely divine as well. Uh, there is space for a UNF thread if you and do the front and put a moderator on there. Now, this was absolutely divine and won me over, but then one day when I was busy, busy filling it, it takes either a Hudson or an FX full probe. I was filling it, bled the line, took the full probe out, and the air just gushed out. So I mailed the shop that I bought this from, and I heard no response to them. I tried SMSing them, no response. I tried phoning them, and there was no response. So after months, of just sitting on this and going, come on, I don't want to break my beautiful gun. I decided to fix it myself, took it out of the stock, undid these. Um, turns out there's another tiny screw through the full probe, uh, full probe area, and then you can finally take the front off. And there was a tiny, tiny, tiny minuscule speck of gold paint from the full probe that I was keeping the bulb from closing. Now, what's nice is that there's a dust cover for this, so, you know, dirt can't get in, but if it's your full probe, that's doing it well. You're pretty much buggered. So anywho, I've gushed about this enough. Let's see how it does. As you just saw, the gun is incredibly accurate. That's an 11 millimeter group or less than half an inch. Uh, what you didn't see is, even as a lefty, I can bring the gun up very easily and cock it with my right hand and let a shot off without having to worry about swapping my hands over or putting my trigger finger dangerously close to the trigger. So I, I think some stocks are just too steep here or too flat or too steep. So the grip's just weird. So this one feels more like a pistol grip without actually having been one. And of course, nice having the shaping on both sides. The balance, I've gushed on about this enough, but it's just so nice you finally have a rifle I can actually use as a lefty and not have to worry about it. Now, sound levels, sure, it's still 97 decibels with the moderator on, but it does change the signature or frequency, so it's actually not that unpleasant to hear. Now, if you are going to get a moderator, make sure that you get one that starts tapered, otherwise it's not going to fit. This is the Diana P1000 moderator, and it works just great. Now, magazines, it comes with two that are branded for the gun, but I found that the F they are FX magazines that fit just fine. And as for shot count, in this 10 joule version, you can get 80 shots per full. Now, I don't have a license, but the marketing material says that you can get a 30 joule version, and you can get 30 shots per full of that. The trigger is absolutely divine. Um, there's a tiny bit of creep when you're finally going to shoot, but it, 
you can get used to it so easily and it's predictable. So yeah, if it wasn't clear already, I really like this gun and while it may be difficult for people to get their hands on, I thought you might want to know about it anyway. Alrighty, stay safe. Bye.